hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we'll be discussing the hydrate problem from the code zest junior division okay so let's start with the problem statement uh, a container contains x blue balls and akshay can add y blue balls and z green balls into the container he can do this operation of adding balls in the container as many times as he wishes to and he wants to reach a situation where the number of blue balls in the container is at most w times the number of green balls in it so what we have to do is we have to determine whether this objective is achievable or not and if it is achievable we have to find the minimum number of operations needed to achieve it okay so the input is going to be four integers that that will be x y z and w where x is the number of blue balls already belonging inside the container y will be the number of blue balls that akshay will be adding z will be the number of green balls that akshay will be adding and w will be the multiplication factor okay so let's jump right to the code now okay guys so we'll start by declaring all the necessary variables and we'll input all these variables after that we'll write the first if condition okay so what this if condition does is if z into w minus y if this is less than equal to 0 so what will happen is uh, then the blue balls will always be more than green right and green will never be able to catch up with the blue balls so we don't need to check any further conditions and we can directly print minus 1 right so what we're going to do is we're going to see out minus 1 over here right so after that let's write the else condition right first of all we have this double over here because we need to deal with a floating point value right we are, we are doing division so what we're going to get is a point value so we can't deal with the integer so for that i am type casting the integer the long long integer into a double all right so after this we have this z into w minus y in the denominator so this is the at most difference that we're going to get right so now what this formula does is it returns the minimum number of steps required to reach the exact difference of w right so the time complex uh, complexity is of the order 1 because there is no loops or recursions involved right but if we use the uh, if we make the use of brute force method we may encounter the problem of an infinite loop as well right and since the value of the formula can also be a decimal so we are using type casting as well right and the seal function returns the next largest integer of the current decimal value so basically if the current output is 1.4 the 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 value that's going to be printed on the terminal will be 2 similarly if it's on if it's 2.3 or 2.4 or 2.5 it's going to be printing 3 right so it's basically like the greatest integer integer function right so let's just execute the code and take the uh, take the test case from the website only it's 5232 right so let's just put 5232 over here and the output is 2 okay so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos